February is Black History Month, and an organization of lacrosse area creatives are celebrating with an inclusive art show to raise money for local organizations. News 8 Now's Anna Fisher stopped by the Black Legacy Art Show tonight, where the community came together for good food and a collective cause. As we continue celebrating black excellence, local creative organization Artsiders is celebrating Black History Month in their own way. It was a memorable evening in downtown La Crosse. There's so much going on in this community. Full of original artwork. And homemade soul food. We have Mia's Kitchen. She's pretty new, I think, to the community. She was actually top picked by the local artists. They're like, you have to get her in for this event, so we did. Maureen Ashley Turner is one of the co-founders of the Artsiders. So the Artsiders is a local organization uh, that saying, likes to highlight on local artists. We kind of just really wanted to build a space that was inclusive to artists in the area and kind of highlight on some maybe um, more powerful topics. She organized tonight's event to help raise money for two local charities. Hope Restores brings um, resources to local um, people of color and they help provide opportunities as well. Black stands for Black Leaders Acquiring Collective Knowledge. They help with resources as well. I know they do a lot of work with UWL and Viterbo. The art show featured 15 local artists of all different kinds. I was approached for the last art show that went on uh, here, and when they uh, said that they wanted to do one for Black History Month, I was like, heck yeah, Like, I want to definitely get on and be a part of it. This is the second art show organized by the Artsiders, and according to Turner, word is spreading fast. We are now running a list of artists um, that want to be involved, and we got like maybe 45 at this moment, so it's like growing. A unique event that celebrates all kinds of art and all kinds of people. I think there needs to be more opportunities for it. So I think it's really cool that um, we are in a community that allows us to put on events like this and um, that we've gotten so much local support from so many different places. Reporting in La Crosse, I'm Anna Fisher, News 8 Now. And if you couldn't make it tonight but still want to donate to the local nonprofits, we've got more information on news8000.com.